welcome to the next wave of digital video i'm tony reale and today i want to give you guys a behind the scenes tour of the cooking show that we produce it's called cook like a champion it's actually our, uh, on several stations around the country and even across the world um, and we do it right out of here out of the our back studio at creative edge productions so last week I showed you guys a little uh, tour of the arcade that we opened recently and then I kind of showed you pointing to the back room and I said back there is where uh, some additional magic happens that's where we shoot this cooking show. So this is a garage you guys will see as, as I give you the tour you'll notice that this is a just a back garage area of a uh, of this uh, facility that we rent and we converted it into this studio kitchen and the lighting setup and everything is, is relatively simple all things considered for what we're doing uh, you guys may have seen cooking shows where they have very elaborate studio lighting and it's done in um in a, in a tv studio uh, we're doing something a bit more simple but at the end of the day we're getting a great result and i want to show you guys how we do that so here's our studio kitchen uh, there's a couple cool things about this kitchen uh, first of all, this island is mobile. We can actually push and move it around. A uh, couple reasons for that. First of all, sometimes I'll move this depending on where Ace, our, our chef, is going to be cooking. Sometimes he's, he's pretty heavy working on uh, the cooktop over here, so we might centralize that for the episode. And sometimes he's not cooking anything, and he's going to be just doing chopping of ingredients and stuff like that. So a lot of times I'll move the, the island back over uh, the other direction. Uh, the other reason that we have it on... on wheels is because this is a multi-purpose stu studio and when we're not shooting this island takes up a lot of space so we actually just roll it way back over here and that gives us a lot more space for storage so it's a little uh, little movie magic that we do on there back here this is a screen tv screen that we can put different uh, logos on we can use for uh, motion background so we've used this kind of as a fake window um, so there's a lot of things we can do with that it's just a fun little accent to have in the space uh, underneath, of course, we have under cabinet lighting, you know, nice uh, studio cabinets. And then up here, we have some fluorescent lights that we use as a backlight. Nice, soft, even backlight that uh, just wraps around the talent. Those are permanently mounted up there. That's the one light that never leaves this setup. Uh, but a lot of the other lighting we take with us because obviously we do a lot of on location productions. So here, this is one of my favorite light modifiers that I have. This is my 8x. Scrim Gym, Westcott Scrim Gym. Uh, and we've got our grid cloth over the top of it. And that's giving us this beautiful directional soft light. Now behind the silk is our IntelliTech F800 bicolor LED light. This, you might hear the fan going when you're up close to it. This is a behemoth of a light. This thing is huge, um, but uh, it's an 800 watt LED light. It's the most powerful LED light that I own. Uh, and it's bicolor, so I can switch between daylight and tungsten. But this is equivalent to about a 5,000 watt tungsten head. It pumps out a ton of power, but I can still plug it into a regular household circuit and be able to light a lot with it. Just this one light is keying our entire kitchen set, which is pretty awesome. On top, it's on uh, Matthew's mini riser. So this is a roller stand. It has this crank that I can raise and lower it. So one person can manage this big old light. Without this crank, you'd have to hoist and, and lock off and hoist, and it's, it's dangerous and it's heavy and it's exhausting. This is really easy to move around. We use it for our studio setup, but a lot of times we'll also use it on location when we just need one big giant light to key a big large area. Over here, we've got our fill light. So we had our backlight, our key light, and our fill light. Uh, we have this on the riser pretty darn high, a couple reasons. First of all, we don't want to cast a shadow with the camera, um, but also we don't want to get reflection off of that TV in the background. So this position of that light gives us just a little bit of fill. Uh, we don't go for a high key studio look where everything's very flat lighting. We actually embrace the shadow. We want it to have that kind of cinematic lighting um, that isn't always done in, in most cooking shows. So this is just to fill in the shadows just a bit so that it's not too dark on the, on the other side. Uh, but yeah, that's our three point lighting setup. It's very simple, backlight, key light, and fill light. We record everything in uh, ProRes 2K. So it's easy to edit, uh, it's a fast workflow, all the cameras are able to record to that same uh, codec, um, and uh, I'm able to balance them together pretty well in post, so they all have a similar look. This is our wide shot, this is the camera that I operate typically, um, and I'll show you guys in a little bit. It also gives me a good eye shot of the director's monitor, so I can keep an eye on that, make sure that all the other cameras are looking good. Um, this is the camera that Sean operates, this is the FS700 with the Atomos Shogun Inferno and uh, we've got on this one we have the sigma 18 to 35 
uh, which is typically shooting at f2.8. I think uh, all the cameras are in f2.8. Um, this is my Canon CNE 35mm. So this is a locked off prime lens, but we've got this nice little dolly action going on. It's a very subtle dolly. Uh, we're not trying to be crazy with it, but Sean will just gently dolly back and forth to give it a little life to that shot. So this is the medium shot. And over here, we have the Epic W with the Sigma 50 to 100 f1.8, again shooting at 2.8. And this is our close up shot. So uh, Will is typically operating this one and he zooms between usually around 70 to 100 mil. Um, because of the sensor size on these cameras, if he's at 50 mil on this camera and Sean's at 35, they've got a very similar shot. So we always stay between 70 and 100 on this one. And he gets all the detail shots of the food cooking, um, sometimes close-ups of people, like chopping, all that kind of stuff. So this is our detail shot camera. So these two cameras always have to have a good shot. And then Will is always hunting around for that close-up that's relevant to what's happening. Back this way is the director station. This is where Jimmy will watch all the cameras, of course. Um, he's able to see a feed from each of the cameras. Just a real simple three monitor setup that we have here with some TVs. This is just for composition so that Jimmy can see, making sure everybody's got a good shot. You know, if Will's uh, panning over to uh, Ace as he's chopping something and he misses that and Ace starts going ready to put it in the pan, uh, Jimmy might stop him and say, hey, let's get that one more time before you move over to the pan. So also while Jimmy is directing talent, he's also keeping an eye on the time. He's got a stopwatch in each segment. We have a specific duration that that can be before the commercial break. The total episode length is 21 and a half minutes. And so we want to stay as tight to that as possible. So when Sean gets to the edit, he doesn't have to cut out too much superfluous stuff. Hey everyone. So after we shoot everything in Ace's kitchen, of course, it comes back to me, to my edit station here. I back everything up. There's an episode right here, actually. Here's all the media. We got our, this is from the Shogun. We got the SD card there. And then we got it from the 7Q as well. We got the red media, red mag. And I also take the SD cards. And we always save those just in case something happened where it didn't record correctly. I've had it happen in the past. So putting it into here, uh, I just, I create a multi-camera uh, sequence. I usually do that when, let's see, let's go ahead and open up one of the folders here, so underneath our footage. Select all the footage that you want synced, right click on it. Go down here, create a multi-camera source sequence. So I'm not using Polarize or anything, I'm just using the built-in, the audio syncing, that the built-in to Premiere. And it's a little bit of extra work, because what it'll do is, uh, once I actually sync that, it does a pretty good job of syncing everything, but it, uh, for each of those main clips, however long we recorded before we cut, it puts each one of those in a sequence and I just copy them all over. You can see each, each cuts here. So there's one cut, there's another cut, there's another cut. So I just copy them all over into one, um, one multi-cam sequence. I also do the color grade in the multi, so just get everything. We have each camera, you know, we have our close-up camera on top. We got our, uh, our medium camera that's on the dolly in the middle and our camera one, which is our safety cam, the wide. Um, so that way it's, None of the conditions change, so we just color grade each clip that way. Pretty much the same each episode since we keep all the same settings and the same lighting setup. Pretty easy peasy. Um, and yeah, there we go. Well, thanks for coming on this tour. I hope you guys had a fun time just seeing how we do this cooking show. Um, we've been working with Ace for a couple of years now. We started off in going to people's homes, taking almost all this equipment with us, uh, shooting on location. And obviously you can see it takes up a lot of space, so we need to have a big enough kitchen in order to do it. So it was nice when we were able to work with um, a bunch of manufacturers uh, in order to create the studio kitchen. Uh, we use it both for Ace and also we use it for some other cooking related uh, tabletop stuff. And we, one of our clients, Ovention, is a company that makes the oven that we use in our, our, our arcade. Um, we also do a lot of footage uh, stuff for them. So we use this kitchen for that as a backdrop often. So yeah, this is our setup. It's pretty simple. Uh, you might see a lot of cooking shows where there's crews of 20 or 30 people and massive studio lighting and stuff like that. Well, for us, we, we do a pretty simple, pretty lean shoot. Uh, we typically have a five to six man crew. Very simple and uh, the result I think is pretty solid. We really enjoy doing that. We enjoy working with Ace. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this tour. Be sure to check out more of our stuff on our channel and uh, please give us a subscribe.